Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing very well in this lockdown situation. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so in this situation, we are uh, taking uh, we all the teachers are taking classes. We are uh, giving lecture using YouTube's. We are uh, uh, doing our classes using Zoom, WebEx, etc. And uh, we also have uh, an LMS platform called Moodle. Okay, all the time we are uh, doing this class, we uh, ha had to take, we have to actually take some attendance for the students. Yeah, quiz is an option for the attendance and for the YouTube number of viewers can be some kind of uh, attendance from the, or maybe some live question in a live session in YouTube can be uh, one way to collect the attendance. But here we have another good utility by which we can take the attendance. Okay. Okay. Most of us already have some Google account, right? So from that account, just I have to open, I have to search for the Google Forms. As I regularly search for it and uh, I open regularly, so I already have this thing highlighted and just I'm opening the Google form. Okay, so now it's ready. Then I am opening this Google form. Inside the form, I have to choose this button to create a new form. Okay, so a new form is open. I just rename this form as And then okay and the first question box is already present in my form okay in this question box I just writing name so in this field, the student will enter their name. And um, by the way, when I mention this name, Google automatically choose this question as a short answer type question. Yes, it's a short answer type question. Student have to enter some name and make it as a required field. So it's a mandatory question. Now, by clicking this add question button, you just add another question. It is as we need the university roll number. Yeah. So when you write this question, university roll number, the question type is automatically selected to short answer type. And there is a validation as the word number is written over there. A checking whether the entered uh, thing, entered answer is a number or not. Okay, I can remove it. But for this, for this question, I just, I'm just keeping this. Okay. And then making this question as a mandatory one. Then for a good interactivity uh, with the students, just give some funny question to them. Say for example, I'm uh, writing this one. Is Sunday a sunny day? It's a funny question, right? So, from the suggestion, just add all the options and make it a multiple choice type question. However, you can make uh, this multiple choice type question to a, a drop down box, okay? And then make it as a mandatory one, okay? So, your form now your form is ready. Fine. Now, give a good name to your form. If you click on the name, the name will be taken as the title of the form. Okay. So, it's done. Now, to check the proxy attendance by students, you have to uh, change 
some option for this form okay what is the option just uh, from this setting wheel open the general setting and then tick on this collect email address okay and then just tick on this limit to one response so that from a particular email id obviously it should be a google id only one response is possible so no proxy right and then save it now your form is attendance form is perfectly ready then what we have to do we just have to send the form to the students now we can send this form to the students in many way uh, we can send this via email via a link and via some embedded web page so i prefer this one via a link okay and then just make the link shorter then copy the link and share with the students that's it okay by this way we can uh, track every day attendance of students now one thing uh, uh, you can include some other checking as well with this form see i, I am showing you one response from our students here it is okay i have many forms uh, i'm just showing you one form of today yeah here it is i have and uh, just today i have taken one class and i have 51 response and uh, after a certain time see here uh, if i uh, see the response i have 51 response now if i close this button then it will not accept any attendance for today so it's closed so for uh, uh, for a specific time you just keep it open and then after specific time given to the student just make it non responsive so that the students will not be able to enter their attendance anymore okay so this is uh, the way how we can take our students daily attendance so thank you all stay safe stay home thank you